Hey guys, Ken from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're going to show you um, how to dry screens um, without a heat box. So stay tuned after the intro. Hey guys, um, so um, this is our dry box, guys. We, we ma actually made this out of wood. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. So we made it out of wood, okay? And um, inside, we have little grooves, okay? And, and each groove is actually, um, if you guys can see it, it actually has a little bit of uh, wood glue. And then we also took some screws and we actually just screwed it in very, um, to have a little bit of extra room. And the screens actually slide in, okay? And um, down here, we actually have a heat gun. Now I have a little bit of hole back here and I can actually put the heat gun underneath right here and turn it on and then the heat will come back through this hole and um but more times i actually just leave it you know right here on the bottom um now the thing is is when you're drying screens a lot of times um well one you need the moisture to get out right and it needs to dry so if you're coating your screens with emulsion and you put it in here you don't want to close it up completely they need to be vented um, so we don't actually put a door on it we just have a little bit of tarp close it down and then in this room it's a, it's a dark room so we have a safe light so if i close the door in here we have a yellow safe light so we can actually see um, so today we're gonna coat a screen um, and we're gonna burn a screen and we'll wash it out but this is how we actually dry our screens in and with this heat gun and then this dry box we can actually dry a screen within I mean seriously 20 minutes if that all right so no more waiting you know for 24 hours if you guys um, are trying to you know coat screens and, and print you can get this done and you can buy you can do boxes like this fairly easily go to home depot i think I, we with the wood and everything cutting um i think it probably cost me a 100 bucks at most um some of these dry boxes you know from um not knock any big screen printing companies off but those big dry boxes they cost a lot of money so if you're trying to start a business and you don't have that capital great great way to um, make your money last a lot longer same thing uh, DIY little um, exposure unit okay um, I have that in one of our videos we showed you how to make this and um, you know this whole little setup costs maybe 50 well, actually with this light, this light is about 45. So with the wood and everything, maybe $75 at the most. So, and I actually have videos of me burning half tones on this and everything. So it's very, very easy to, to make. I show you how to make it. I show you where you can buy this thing. Um, so don't go out, spend, you know, a thousand dollars on exposure unit when you're first starting off, because guess what? You can do everything that everybody needs with this little, uh, DIY exposure unit okay so let's get to it we're gonna get one of our screens we're gonna be using a 160 mesh today we're gonna be printing um, a yellow gold golden yellow okay high pigment um, on this um, screen so 160 is a very uh, universal screen that we use it most of our screens in the shop is 160 okay we do have some 130s and 125s and that's for our whites when we're trying to get that great under base we're trying to print a bright bold uh white um color on a shirt okay we also have some 250 some 200 um 305s okay but today we're going to be using a 160 mesh uh printing and uh we're going to get to it right now all right stay tuned all right guys um so again we're going to be coating a screen 160 mesh and uh we are going to use our scoop coater and again guys we are still using the chroma line uh the chromatech wr so this is for plaster saw and water base um and we buy it by the gallon now 
that we are in a shop. So we buy gallons now. And when I was using the quart, um, I actually broke out, you know, how many times I can coat a screen um, using a quart. And pretty much I broke it all the way down to how much it cost me per screen. And, and that was using the Chroma line, um, Chroma Tech WR. Um, and we broke it down to about uh, $5 a screen, okay? And that's what it costs to coat a screen, clean the screen with all the chemicals, and pretty much reclaim it, the whole nine yards. So um, when you buy in bulk with you know the gallon, you can actually save a little bit of money. Um, so it's definitely under $5 now, um, which is nice. Um, so I use gloves to actually, you know, get the, the, the scoop coater ready and then I just take them off and then I have like a little spatula that I scoop that out with. Again, I'm using, the, I got a, a nice pack of 160 mesh uh, screens from um, Amazon and I know I had in videos before that I didn't really like them, um, but you know, I needed some screens and my local supply person that I normally get my screens was out. So I uh, checked on Amazon and they're a little bit cheaper than my supply house. But uh, the second batch I got actually worked very well. So it's coated now. I'm gonna put it in this dry box. I'm gonna turn on the heat gun and uh, we'll show you how that looks. All right, so we open up, you know, our door, which is a tarp, so we can let the moisture out. We'll turn on the heat gun and I turn where you put your ink at, okay? See the lip right here? I turn it upside down like this and all I do is slide it in, okay? And let me show you this real quick. So heat gun's going, screen is upside down inside this box, okay? And then all I do is just close that tarp and in about seriously 20 minutes, um, it seriously will be done. And if you guys don't believe me, let's, um, you know, I don't, I don't even have my phone on me, do I? But if you guys can see this, right now it is 5.30. Okay, so 5.30, right now, it is 5.30. Um, so sh by 5.50, we're gonna check back in and this should be done. So then we can wash it out and get it back in here and we dry it in here as well. Um, you know, after we wash out the, the, the design, we'll wash it out, put it back in here, keep the dryer going and um, and it'll be done so maybe a total 20 minutes in here drying with the motion wash it out throw it back in here maybe another 20 minutes 15 minutes to uh, dry all the water off and we're ready to rock and roll but first all that extra motion going back in there so let's get that done all right it is 5:50, and time to check this out completely dry like I said, 20 minutes inside this dry box and it's ready to go. You don't have to go spend tons and tons of money on a dry box. You can make it for about 150, 200 bucks. Heat gun, there you go. Now we're gonna burn this and get this going.
So we just washed it out. We're gonna put it back in here, heat gun on, bring down the tarp. In about 20 minutes, it'll be fully dry. So that's how you use a homemade dry box to get your screens done quicker without having to spend tons and tons of money. Um, if you guys like the video, please like it. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and then please share it. Until next time, have fun, be safe.